Hey everyone, so the other day I was out uh, starting up the John Deere LT155 and noticed the engine moving around a little bit. We gotta fix that. So like I said the other day I came out and started this thing up and the engine was all wiggling around. So I had to quickly shut it off and uh, take a look and of course it looks like we are missing some engine bolts. Unplug it, choke this on, check the oil level. I'm going to show you what I was seeing. It won't hurt it bad, I don't think. Yeah, we're good on oil. I just want to check that before you fire it up. You can see that thing's moving pretty good. Hopefully, you can see that. So, we're going to push it up on some. Uh, ramps here and see if we can get some bolts in there. So we're going to have to take this blade off to get the ramps in there. No big deal. I've got it done with a hitch pin and uh, pull that off. Pull that out that there for now and got that bolt I made and got a nice little uh, place for your fingers to go in there little JB weld got that together for me take a look underneath see what's going on my guess is before we do that I've got this corrugated plastic that comes in real handy for laying on the ground okay. oh yeah there's no bolts in there which we already pretty much knew that Thing is, I think we're gonna have to go from the side. So I might actually come the ramp. Right, let's see what we can do. I'll try this at home, kids. Jack stands. Always want to use a jack stand. So let's see. Where's a good place to put that? That looks like a frame member. Let's try that. Alright. Uh, engine bolts. Well, there probably should be one there. Where that hole is. Oh yeah. Look at that. Alright, we're gonna have to one in there and I gotta figure out where the others go there's, well, there's still one on that side believe it or not yep that's why the whole thing didn't just fall off there's still one over there Let's see if I can see what we're looking at there's 
on the camera. I don't know where the heck. How many bolts are there on this thing? Just two? I wonder. I could do a little Google searching with my Googler. Find out about how many bolts this thing really has. Because I thought thought it would be four, but it might only be two. As long as I'm down here, I'm playing with that uh, transmission fan just to make sure it looks like it's all good. And all the blades are there. This is why I changed my own oil in the cars too, because the shop ain't gonna tell you all the details of what's good and bad, and I like to know. So, you know, save a few bucks and kind of have fun doing it, I guess, right? But uh, that way I can take a look around and see what else looks like it's good or bad. So I know what to probably address soon. Okay. So what we have here are some M8 by 25 millimeter bolts. Some red Loctite. And I know it's in a blue bottle. Don't ask me why they do that, but the red is in a blue bottle, the blue is in a red bottle. I can't help what they do there, that's just how it is. But uh, every time I tell someone to get the Loctite, they always ask me about that, so I figured I'll mention it. So we're going to put a bunch of Loctite on this thing. I'm going to use red Loctite, okay, it's really not as strong as some people say it is but it's uh i feel like the blue wouldn't quite hold like it's supposed to at least not long enough i really don't feel like doing this again so let's see if we can get this in there now here's something else i don't see a washer hey Nothing like an M8 bolt in the eye. Um, we're having a little trouble getting this thing started. Just a little wiggle here and there. certainly don't want to cross thread it right so if it doesn't go in by hand we won't be putting it in at all yeah that's that does not seem like it's the right bolt size which is terrible because I bought four of them <laughs> okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take the other one off and see if it's uh, the same bolt and if make another trip to the store. And that thing is as loose as they get. does look like it does look like different threads these are not the right bolts man they lied to me that's definitely not the right bolt all right so those are definitely the wrong size bolts after getting the other one out it's not even close to the to the metric gate um, eight millimeter so we're gonna have to find one and I've done some digging uh, I've got one but it's a little too long so we're gonna have to cut that thing down so let's go see what we can do with that made quite a mess over here but let me add a little a little more light here so we've got it's a 5 16th by 18 that came out of that thing on the other side so I've got a bolt like that and uh, I don't think it's quite the same hardness but uh, should be good it's just a little too long and i really don't want to put you know 17 washers under it so we're going to cut it down a little bit and then uh, 
put it on. So I'm gonna get this guy out again. And uh, let's see, cut off wheels. Oh, there we go. What I needed was right in that bag. Take two. Okay. You always want to leave a little bit of space between the collet on a rotary tool and the bit so that it has room to move as you loosen the collet back up. It actually comes out by dropping back in a little bit and then it comes out so I just want to do that okay want to put some safety glasses on get our Milwaukee marks off we are going to Mark this bolt. So, one, one. Yeah. all right. Now that we've got it marked, we're going to put this in a vise so that we can not have it explode out of our hands and hurt us. see if the nut goes on the same as this bolt so here's the nut goes on a 5 16 18 here we go 5 16 18 right on no burrs or nothing to stop it so we're good there check the length and it is really close I think what I'll do though is I am going to use just one washer one thin washer when I put it on on the machine on the tractor so check this out this is where i got my information the bolts are eight millimeter by 25 millimeter this is for bolt size holding engine to frame lt155 well that that it wasn't correct they're 5 16th by 18. all right so let's get back under here now that we've got the right bolt size and uh and now that I know that, what I'll do is I'll go to the store later and get, next time I'm there, get a better quality bolt, but this one will work. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some of this red Loctite on both of these bolts, the old and the new. So she don't vibrate apart again. Okay, because I don't want to lose another one. You know, usually I'll check a bolt by taking out another one. And I didn't do that this time. Now let's put this old one back first. We can get our hand in there. A little tight. Let's see. It, it wasn't even tight. It was loose too. So that's kind of scary, right? We got two loose bolts holding each other. Uh, 
There she goes. Just the way it's supposed to. Okay, now, before we get that one tight, we're gonna put this one on. Got our red Loctite on and a washer. And uh, see if we can match up that hole. Yep, there it goes. Threading right in. Beautiful. I'm sure you can't see any of this, honestly. I'm sorry. I'm still learning how to make these videos better, so this is what it is. But. Okay, kids. We got a six inch extension. And now we're ready to do something. And I still don't know for sure if you can see all this, but I'm hoping. We'll find out in post production. Let's see that. That's on. And uh, let's see here. Okay, that should be. I'm giving it just a little extra here. We don't want to get too crazy. It's not the space shuttle. As my, he doesn't know he's my friend, but he's my friend, Terrell. If you haven't seen some of his videos, you need to do that. Terrell fixes all. The guy's hilarious. I considered doing something like the wigs and stuff, but to be honest, I didn't want to be stuck going outside like that <laughs> out in the street that we live on and all that. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do all that, so. Anyway, let's uh, fire it up and see if it's solid because I have a feeling it is. All right, choke's on. Transmission brake's on. When I got this thing home, I got it uh, tuned up a little bit with uh, some carburetor adjustments. And listen to that thing. It'll run like that for days. It'll run like that for days. Nice and smooth. And now it's bolted to the frame again. So let's uh, get it back in the garage there and put the plow blade back on. And that's that. Well, there you have it. A John Deere LT155 does not use M8 by 25 millimeter bolts. It is mounted, the engine's mounted with 516s, 18s. I didn't measure how long they are. An inch, inch and a quarter, a little more than an inch, probably inch and a quarter. Um, but uh, good info to know, especially when you Google it and they give you the wrong stuff. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.